And back here in the studio with some of my favorite <laughs> guests every Friday, we get to catch up with JP and with Ginny. And JP, you brought a special guest on with you this morning. Who do you have with you? Who's this? Froggy. It's your froggy. And what's special about your frog? He only has one eye. He only has one eye. And a and, um, yellow. Oh, and a yellow, yellow little throat there. That's good. Yeah, and a green feet. Yep, and some funny little feet there. We, we, we like that we get to have special guests. Not only do we have Jenny and JP, but <laughs> it's nice to have, you know, the frog. We also sometimes have puppies, too. So now over at the Grand Lodge on Peak 7, um, you guys... Our affordable ski in, ski out real estate. Jenny, how does that work? Well, um, people can buy one week at a time at Grand Lodge, and so they're an owner there. They do have deeded real estate, but it's one week at a time. And so they get all the benefits of being right there on the slopes without the whole ownership price tag. And now, you know, Breckenridge is going to be opening officially what next Friday. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you guys are located right on the slope. So it looks like, I mean, it's just such a convenient location to be in. It's fantastic. And, you know, that Peak 7 terrain is great for families. You know, it's all that kind of blue intermediate, mommy, mommy, nice. Mommy. Yeah, what do you see? <laughs> Did you see Grand Lodge? I, I JP, you favorite. love Grand Lodge, don't you? He sure does. We get to go and visit sometimes, and he loves the pools, and we have lots of fun, don't we? Do we play in the game room and play the basketball game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got some of those great, um, we call them kind of wholesome family games in our family yeah. game room, like ski ball. Really and interactive. Yeah, and like there's this really fun bowling game, and so, you know, they're not... The kids aren't there just sucked into their Xbox or whatever. Right, you They're actually actually, get to play yeah. together. Hey, we did that game, didn't we? Okay. You do that? You play the basketball game? Yeah, that's super fun. Nice. And then there's the dance party. That one's a little hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's hard for probably most people. But I like the fact that you get to kind of jump around. Right, like this right. Girl style, yep. Oh, yep, we love the driving game. So, you know, it's, it's just a great spot for families. The, the skiing there is very easy and, uh, well, relatively easy. It's great for families. People can sit right there on the deck at sevens and watch their friends ski down or even in the hot tubs. It's really, oh, it's that close. That <laughs> is my favorite part is that you can sit in the hot tub at the Grand Lodge on Peak 7. You can look out over the slopes, especially for a lot of you guys that might be coming up, your second homeowners, you know, from the front range, but you can, you can come up and you can relax right there right. and avoid the traffic and well, just kind of enjoy. There's the pool. That's one of our best selling points is the fact that you can park in the lodge or park in town and ride the gondola up either way, go ski all day, and then enjoy the lodge, hot tub, have dinner. Um, did I mention the hot tubs are bar serviced? I don't know if I oh, mentioned Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, you can oh. relax a little and then get on the road and drive home. And it doesn't even have to be the week you own. You can do that 365 days a year. Oh, my gosh. So you, it's kind of like a country club in the mountains. Yeah. And, and then, you know, we saw a little bit of the rooms. And the appointments in the rooms are just, they're gorgeous. Yeah, it's, gorgeous. it's great. You know, and the, being a timeshare, they build them a little bigger mm -hmm. because they know people are typically going to be there five to seven days if they're using their week. Sure. Yeah. And so you don't want to be in some cramped little condo. Oh, so they happy, they yeah. go the extra Bobby, mile. Mommy. Yeah. Yep. It, that's the. Whole, yeah. That's well, the you room. have to have room for JPs and his frog. Right. We got so. you know room for toys. You can have an extra little dining area and the bar, which is nice to sit up there. Um, the beds are super Mom, comfortable. I've been there. I know you've been there. And there's the bathrooms. They're great. They've got this separate, um, you know, area where you. The restroom, and then there's the tub and the two vanities that are separate. So there's a ton of space. The oh, tub nice. is huge; you can fit three kids in there. <laughs> Perfect. Good after playing out on the slopes all day. Right. Exactly. And so, so I mean, it really you can just see here just from the footage. I mean, it's gorgeous. You can tell that the little guys absolutely love it. And how would people go about, you know, maybe actually, you know, touring it or seeing if that might be a good fit for their family? Well, people can come in any day of the year to Peak 7 and check out our open house. We have a sales center right there. We have a sales Mommy? center on Main Street. Yes, Sweet Pea. Um. <laughs> 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 um, they can also go on Grand Lodge, dot, or Grand Lodge on Peak 7com and learn more. We also let you know people are also able to just come in and rent. They don't have to buy to come there. They can come stay for a night or two or five and um, take a tour if they'd like to. We usually have some great incentives to take a tour, nice. maybe two free lift tickets or two spa treatments or wow. some money to spend in town. <laughs> and so it's about a two-hour tour. It's uh, a personal tour. It's a walkthrough. <laughs> Oh my! He's I don't like, know what's going me. on over here. <laughs> 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 
cough. That's a cough. That's okay. A cough. Yeah, that's <laughs> lovely. Yeah. But obviously, yeah. it could be something that would be great for for little guys, for people that maybe just want to have a piece of the mountains on their own. And uh, and it sounds like there's a lot of great ways to to maybe go and view it. And, you know, so you know the options. tour is nice. I think that's actually a part of what makes this different too. It's not a high pressure you know, Mexico timeshare sales environment. <laughs> it's a one-on-one -on -one tour with one individual and they explain to you the product, they walk you through the actual resort. Um, and so it's, you know, we try to make people feel comfortable through the whole process. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I love the fact that you guys are, uh, are so family friendly and that I know a lot of you that your own family owns there, which I think is a huge right. testament to what a great right. property it is. And JP, <laughs> before we go, I mean, I know it's already November, but can you tell me what you were for Halloween? Batman. You're a Batman. What does Batman do? Save a day. He saves the day. <laughs> did you do that on Halloween? Oh, no. You did? No, any bad guys. No bad guys. Oh, no bad guys. Oh, good. All right. Hard to save the day when there's not bad That's guys. That's true. Well, you guys, thanks for coming on. Thanks, thanks for, for having bringing us. in your frog, too, JP. Yeah. <laughs> and that's going to wrap things up for our weekend edition of Summit Sunrise. We'll see you back here again live at 8 a.m. on Monday. Thank you.